All right, folks from Texas Star Lanes, we're here for the title match of the 2012 Las Vegas main event. It's the one in the three seeds. That's three seed Greg Adler running out of six count. <laughs> He's excited. That's okay. He is taking on top seed Kyle Andrews. Kyle is the one giving the pins in this handicap title match. It's 23, so Kyle has to win by 24 to win it all. Adler started out with the strike in the first and got this difficult spare to shoot out here in the second, while Andrews spared in his first frame. Got to cover out that back pin and does not. So it's open in the second for Adler. And an early opportunity here for Andrews to take charge. Kyle dominated the semi-final round of this tournament. He led after his qualifying squad and then took off in the semis. He had a 173 and 183 and then everything else was well over 200. On a uh, 170 something average that will equal a lot plus. I'm gonna have to grab that top seed. It's a sort of bracket, sort of stepladder format here. So he actually had to win a match even as the top seed to get to this title match. Which he did. <clears throat> Meanwhile, we'll have simultaneous coverage just over to the left of the girls' scratch division title match between Brittany Hellman and Kelsey Muther. They're still in their warm ups. That's a beautiful shot in the third frame from Andrew, and uh, just what the doctors ordered there. Quick double to jump all over that open frame from Adler. There will be no delay of game penalties in this match as both Greg and Kyle bowl as fast as they possibly can. I appreciate it. It makes a much quicker match. Sometimes you see those handicap level bowlers go a little bit faster than the scratchers. Greg had an excellent tournament as well. Qualified at plus 191 and had a one little hiccup and otherwise a dominant semi-final round two to get the plus 545 pins behind Kyle after the 14 games of challenging bowling here. So after that high hit on the left hand lane last time he makes the adjustment but perhaps over adjusts and comes up light this time. And another difficult spare form here, a choppable 245. And unfortunately for him, again, the choppable happens. Well, some unfortunate breaks on his spare shooting here in the first four frames has given Mr. Andrews a golden opportunity here to put the hammer down early in this match. Big shot here early on, fourth frame, double working. Right on cue, a solid nine rears its ugly face there and it keeps this thing a match. Excellent shot by Andrews, just a, a lot of power on that bowling ball. These modern bowling balls don't respect those pins and solid nines are part of the modern game. Nice job covering up the spare though, not getting frustrated. Still enjoys a nice early lead on the board again. He has to make up 23 of those pins. Californians here going at it for the main event title. Kyle from Oceanside. Kyle Greg a little bit further up the I-5 from Newberry Park up towards the uh, Ventura County area. Excellent shot after that solid nine. Bowling a real solid game so far. Adler's got to get it going here. He's been good on this lane. However, that ends with a high hit there. Greg also matches Kyle with three career JBC titles. Both these guys regular on our week in and week out tour. I mean, have been attracts bowlers from all over the country. Some West Coast guys defending their turf here. There, finally, we got a conversion on the spares. Each one's going to pick up a big chunk of change, $1,500 for first place today, while second place will cash for $900, so essentially a $600 match. These two young guys are bowling here, Greg the old man of the crowd at 16, while well, Kyle only 14 years old. Not exactly a small kid for 14. My goodness. I don't even try. I don't even try and guess how old these kids are, because some of them are 14 and they look 21, some of them the other way around. Man. Kyle could, uh, I barely card him. 
March, it'll be 15. Then again, I'm only 26, so who am I to judge age? Right. right. I'm only Just like all of us, huh? <laughs> Adler up quickly, missing the head pin right that time. He's getting a little gun shy on that lane now. Woof! Just barely gets that ball to hook enough to cover the spare. All right, two spares. Meanwhile, we're ready to start the scratch girls title match. Frequent main event finalist, 20-year-old Kelsey Muther. Got a stacked resume, has come oh so close to adding main event title to that resume. She'd love to do it in about 15 minutes at the end of this match. First frame for her is going to miss the head pin, right? King, uh, King, <laughs> Kyle Andrews working a <laughs> while wow. on another strike. This time will the nine trip, it won't. Different kind of nine pin than the last one, which was dead flush for a solid nine. That one was high. He's lucky to get the four nine split out of the way and just leave the nine pin that time. He'll be perfectly happy with the spare in that situation. Kelsey with that flawless form at the one, two, four. Nicely done. And Kyle, nicely done at his nine pin as well. So spares for both of our on-camera bowlers here, and we'll be able to catch both of them. This Kyle is up in the seventh frame already, he leads in the match by 36, and he's giving 23, so overall up by 13. Oh, man. Throwing, just throwing rockets at the pocket there, and that was a ring in ten. That six pin flew across the top of that ten. Here's the first frame for 21-year-old Brittany Hillman from Northern California. She goes up high and leaves herself the 4-7. Cross lane with the ball that doesn't hook much at that 10 pin. He looked nervous for a second, but that looked good the whole way. <laughs> You're always nervous. I don't blame anybody for being nervous in the seventh frame of a major, major title match. Hillman cross lane at her 4-7, nicely done. So spare, spare to start off the girls' title match. Adler has to make up some pins here in the late frames. Let's see if he can do it. That's not going to do it that way. So he hasn't looked comfortable on this pair from the get-go. This time, he has himself the old washout to deal with it. If he misses it, it's going to be nearing panic time. But. Uh, more than makeable spare. He's got to get that ball to the left of the head pin, drive it into the 10. That's going to be close. Not quite enough. So with that open, Andrews' lead increases to 50. But he is giving those 23 sticks as well. So it's not over, but Greg has to do what he has yet to do right now and come up with a good shot on the left-hand lane. Nice follow through. Just not in the right spot on the lane. I think he's got a little bit of adrenaline going through now, and he's throwing the ball through the break point. What we mean is if you're a little bit too fast, the ball won't read the lane when it's supposed to. If you over-adjust off a ball like that, you end up coming up high on your other shots. That seems to be the case here for Adler. This is a learning experience for him. You don't get in a major title match very often. And the wheels have proverbially fallen off. It's going to be a free ride for Andrews to his first major title. And Kyle just has to uh, stay behind the foul line and keep it clean here. And he's going to wrap up win number four in the biggest of his career to date, for sure. See the difference in the scratch marks. Look how much extra time Kelsey takes compared to both Kyle and Greg. That's something for both of them to work on as they progress in our sports. You gotta get that mind and body physically ready to throw every shot. That's a good looking one. Yeah. Fairly closely matched bowlers, just much better shot making by Andrews in this match. As he's got a clean 2 0 game going on right now, and that's gonna be more than enough. Well, Ebonite's the title sponsor of the Junior Bowlers Tour, and Ebonite's not going to be unhappy with this victory as Kyle has won roughly 512 Ebonite bowling ball raffles over the years. So, notch another one right there. Meanwhile, Muther cross lane keeps a early two pin lead. There, just threw two frames over there. 
little tug. Oh. And when it's going well for you, do things like get the nine pin out of a nine ten split. Kyle's gonna take a fifteen hundred dollar windfall back to Oceanside, or is he gonna take it to Kingman? Ah, oh, boo! We do this all over again tomorrow morning in Kingman, Arizona. The day after that in Longview, Washington. The day after that in Longview, Washington. Four days after that in Roswell, New Mexico. So the tour rolls on. Well, we don't want to be you. I don't want to be me either. Yeah, come on up. Back Northwest is a fun, fun conference. Right now, no fun at all for Greg as this just did not go his way right from the start. It happens sometimes and it's going to sting for a little while for him, but uh, hey, second, second place in a major is a heck of uh, an accomplishment. Try telling him that right now. But <laughs> Congratulations to both Greg and Kyle. We'll be right back to focus in on the women's title match in part two of this video, so make sure to watch that. What's that now? I buy another crystal stand. We need two.